Hello subscribers and unsubscribers and welcome back to Tom Clancy's End War. So, technically speaking, I could probably finish this episode or this series off in today's episode. However, I have other things I have to take care of so that more than likely won't end up being the case. So, because to my understanding of the game mechanics, defending Duchovny won't really do us any good. The only thing it would maybe allow us to do would be to attack Moscow. But that doesn't really do us any good. I still have to fight like three battles to take Moscow. That's assuming I win all three battles. And we're already at 27 out of the 28 territories we need. In theory, we'd win if we attack said, or either Istra or... Uh, Matera, and then attack Duchovny to retake it, and then we should then win, in theory. But, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't think I have the time to really go and record two battles, even if they're two short battles. So, this series is probably not going to be ending this part, unless for some reason attacking Istra or Matera gives us one extra territory which I don't think it will because again game mechanics to my knowledge shouldn't do that so yes uh, the next part should I would think be the last part but nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and attack Eastern Europe we're going toe to toe with the enemy in multiple sectors the enemy's attacks are focused on uplink sites so we can attack Istra, it's an assault type battle, which means we gotta go and destroy certain objectives, or we can go and attack. We're taking stabs at multiple uplink clusters. Or we can attack Matero, which is your traditional conquest, and here we've actually got more sport than if we attacked Istra, so I'm actually somewhat more inclined to go and attack Matera. Or however it's pronounced. So we're gonna go and attack Matera. Because as I said, we get more support. We have air support and force recon, um, and it's also again just the traditional conquest. Colonel, today's mission is high speed, low drag. We're thrashing an enemy uplink cluster, sending your battalion across the main line of resistance to grab it from us. Your opponent is once again Colonel Georgi Sokolov, the 48th Signals Brigade. The two of you have faced off before, and you won the last match. Today, you can show that wasn't just a fluke. We had the strategic so long as we keep winning decisive battles. Get out there and take the fight to the enemy ground. Chew them up and spit them out. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to say is I think this is going to be a somewhat annoying battle, but nonetheless, it's one we're going to have to fight. So, we have to secure half, which basically means securing Delta and Whiskey and holding those, which should be relatively easy. And then securing Alpha and Sierra, or Alpha and Lima, or Sierra and Lima, or well, really just any of these, but realistically speaking, it'd be either Alpha, Sierra, or Lima. Some combination of those, realistically speaking. But we could, in theory, go uh, Alpha, Bravo, Delta, Whiskey, but that's somewhat unlikely to be the case. Of course, yet again, I do not remember ever fighting this guy, but apparently we have. That's all that matters to the game, is that we have. Come on, hurry up and get in. Unit 3, move to Delta. And of course, the next thing we're going to spawn in once we can is going to be some gunships. And Unit 5 is going to move off towards Whiskey so they can pick up Straight Flush. Back, Unit 5, move to Whiskey. That way, obviously they can, like I said, pick up 
straight flush after straight flush secures whiskey, which is going to take a little bit. You guys are going to take delta. You guys are almost there, but since you're not vehicles, you have to... Okay, you guys still think it's faster to go that way. Okay. You guys can take whatever route you want. Uh, okay, it's the standard infantry, but we do have tanks. Good thing the gunships are coming in now. Uh, deploy one of those things, one of our armed UAVs. Damn it, transports as well in the back. Check Delta. We have secured it. Get tanks. Inbound on DZ. Air support. Air support. I really need you guys to take those tanks out before the transports decide to focus on you. Pull back. Armed UAV, you begin firing on those transports, at least as much as you can. I'm trying to... Oh, they killed it. Never mind. You pull back. Uh, you guys move up to there, unit 6, there is a job for you. You guys hop in, unit 6, I want eyes on you, unit 6, pull back. Unit 7, where are you? You, I guess, lost sight of the target. Unit 3 moved to Alpha. Unit 5 moved to Lima. We'll go Alpha, Lima, and then we'll see if we can move in and secure Sierra. Don't know if those guys are within range. Yes, they should be, so you fire on them. It's fine, we'll live. They haven't even secured Bravo or Foxtrot for some reason. It's very weird. What are those? Artillery. Engage. You guys still have a little ways to go until you get to Lima, Unit 6. Yeah, you're moving in to engage. Shit, change of plans. Pull back. Unit 7, change of targets, unit 9, yeah, you continue to do your thing. Unit 4, get out and secure Lima, those transports are done, you guys move to engage them, unit 7. If you don't mind pulling back, that'd be grand. Unit 6, you engage those. Unit 8, engage them. Get some more transports. I might just tell Unit 7 to evacuate. Yeah, Unit 7, evacuate. Unit 6. Change your location slightly, you take air support. You guys need to not get yourselves engaged by those infantry, if you don't mind. Unit 
We have multiple units ready to deploy. Get force recon. If you can, kill them. Never mind. In a three move to engage those guys. Unit 6 pull back. Let Unit 3 get in there. It wasn't a particularly good use of a fuel air bomb, if you ask me. The game thinks it was. I think it was a terrible use. You guys engage. You can engage them. Unit 6 is gonna go down, but hopefully they'll take the enemy gunships. Yep. Unit 6 evacuate! You guys are now too damaged to continue fighting. Okay. I don't like that you guys seemingly are not capable of... Okay, you are. You're just not doing it. Send you guys to force attack right next to the uplink. Why is it so hard for you to actually do that? I kind of want you guys to fortify this uplink if you don't mind. you guys a little while to actually report that that vehicle was lost. If you feel so inclined, I would love for you guys to actually kill- oh shit, never mind, change of plans. Engage those guys, they're the bigger threat. Unit 12, move over there. Unit 10, if you can, head over there and back them up. Continue engaging. I would love for you to kill them if you can. And I think you guys can. Great job. Unit 10, if you don't mind, get me some eyes on Sierras. See if uh, anybody's still there, because I know our artillery's still firing. Yes, there are still targets there. You pull back, you. Make sure you guys do force fire, not actual aim to fire. You have to go and secure one more uplink now, which is probably going to end up being Sierra. Uh, I would love it if you guys could somehow get to the southern side without being engaged, but that's not going to happen. Excuse me, northern side. See, I thought I told you guys to force fire, but apparently you didn't register that as a force fire. Why is it so hard for you guys to actually force fire? Okay, now I hope you guys will force fire. I don't want you to aim at the enemy in particular. I just want you to aim in their general direction. It'll take you a little while to actually kill them, and we could certainly stand to have some more. Unit 5, evacuate. I don't think we could stand to have some more tanks. You guys engage there. Unit 10, you move in to back them up because they're going to need it. We have multiple units ready to deploy. I know 
you don't. But you'll be fine. There you go. I think those guys are trying to go and secure... Yes, I would say they're trying to secure Alpha from under my nose. I don't like when people try to steal things from under my nose. That's overkill. Just drop one of those on them. Really, that didn't kill them. I'm surprised. Get a Force Recon over there then. Let's continue engaging those. In at 10, I don't think you killed those guys. I know you think you did, but uh, like I said, I'm fairly certain you didn't. Actually, yeah, no, Unit 9, you continue engaging them. Kill them if you can. Try to kill as many of the enemy as you guys can. It hurts the enemy when you kill them. <laughs> so, yeah, generally speaking, if possible, you want to try to actually kill their units. Not just hurt them enough so that they evacuate. I would love if you guys actually were a bit better at getting eyes on target, but uh, sadly you're not the greatest at it. You need to pull back a bit. Yeah, you know, ten engage them. Unit 10, continue engaging them. Unit 11, continue engaging them. Do everything in your power to kill those guys before they can be evacuated. Unit 9, engage. A more hostile infantry come in. Just drop something off in the back. Let's move over to you. I prefer getting eyes on you. They dropped some vehicles off. I don't know what. There they are. They're dropping them off. Up oh, more transports. Move in there. Do as much damage as you can. Um. 
air missile detonation imminent. Hostiles are deploying. Why am I not surprised they're doing that? Oh well, doesn't matter, we won. Yes, they will. So, definitely could have been better if uh, that last fuel air bomb hadn't occurred. Well, actually, neither fuel air bomb had occurred, but uh, nonetheless, still a B rank. Not bad. We're updating your strategic display now. Here's how things shook out across the map. Nice work, Colonel. We got results in Western Europe. The homelands of the European Federation are now entirely occupied by its sworn enemies. That's a nation that didn't last long, huh? Hasn't it technically been that way for a while now? Eastern Europe was a disappointment. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So we're still back at 27. So next part, we'll probably be defending Sevastopol, which should, in theory, give us Dukovny back, and that should then win us the game. But like I said, I don't exactly have the time to go and record two battles this part, so I'm afraid that's not going to be happening. Uh, I will see you guys in the next part, which, again, should be the last, because defending Sevastopol should give us Dukovny, like I said. And one thing I forgot to mention, sorry that there was an episode last week. Um, I had originally been informed that I would have uh, at least Monday and Wednesday to myself during my spring break. But of course, that ended up not being the case, and thus I didn't record anything. So there ended up being you no know, part last week. But uh, yeah, so until the next part, like I said, which should be the last, I will see you guys next time. But until then, a goodbye and farewell.